Hello once again, winter is upon me. Uh, I'm currently trying to trade. I can see that's what that's what I meant. Winter is upon me. Uh, but I'm currently trying to trade, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make Ral, my trader, have nothing but but noble duties. So he should be able to come and help me out pretty soon. This is probably gonna be my last video of the day. Uh, it's been okay so far. We've had a couple of people die from ice wolves. Uh, alas, we can't save everyone, so you know that's too bad. That's just part of living in an evil glacier. That's something you have to kind of uh, become used to. Well, you can go for perfect runs in easier places. You know, I don't think anybody died for quite a while in my uh, first place. You know. That's not somewhere that's littered with monsters. With some places that are littered with monsters, it becomes quite difficult. Uh, so let's see what my guy's doing. He's now drinking. Hopefully he'll be done once he's drinked. Drank rubble. Not drinked. I'm going to remove these. And remove these. I would really appreciate if he'd come like this. Is kind of annoying now. Oh, now he's on a break. Oh, So he came off his break, went drinking, and then went back on his break. What a cool, cool dwarf. Hard working dwarf as well. Oh, still on his break. And um, constructed the construct. Suspended the construction of the bed. Okay, screw that. I don't care anymore. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and show you this, which I did do when I paused for about two seconds. I just designated some extra bedrooms for my extra doors, which will be coming. Well, I'm going to go check down here. I need to terraform this efficiently. Uh, but first, I'm going to go ahead and just dump. Actually, this is quite shallow now that I realise. It's only 13 deep if you look in the top right. And I, I was never really aware of that. Uh, I did show you how to uh, terraform efficiently in an older video. So I'm not going to go ahead and go for that now. You know, you just use walls and uh, floors and stuff. What the hell? Oh, there must be upstairs slash ramps there. Wow. But it's been designated anyways, even though it's off the map. I didn't know you could do that. Uh, just gonna these. Uh, so I think that's everything quite okay. I'm gonna start making my farm plot down here. Just gonna make it as big as, as humanly possible. There we go. Uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and start digging out and kind of squaring everything off, making it a bit nicer. All like that do this and I also need to designate all these trees to be cut down oh god interrupted by what oh so there's another ice wolf in here oh well, that's cool oh god this oh wow more ice wolves wait what did they kill everybody wait what's happening okay so he's dead and I, he's gonna die okay this one's dying okay this is okay it doesn't really matter this is just ice wolves dying in my fort uh, but I'm gonna get my one military man to go help there we go everything's dead now that was easy. That was fun. I mean, well, everybody runs around frantically. Uh, but everybody, everybody's okay now, so, you know, no losses. Uh, at least I don't think anybody died. No, nobody died. That is good. Oh, sugar, they've embarked on their journey. Oh, well, I was going to trade, but I guess that's down the shit now, isn't it? Oh, well. Uh, let's go check on my noble squads. Looks like they are quite done, so I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of beds down. Some doors down. Some couple of tables down. Some chairs down. Either side, and one of these, and another one of these, and on the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and do exactly the same. Share, share, share. Whoops, it is easy to build share. Uh, oh, I don't have the chairs at the minute. So that sucks, but I can still put down one cabinet over here, and then make bed, bed, and door, door, and door, 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 door. door. Okay, so looks like my noob squads are okay now. I should be able to. <laughs> Oh, oh, satisfy the demands of my manager. So I should be able to make him quite happy very soon. I'm just going to go ahead and designate this all to him. So I am running out of food very fast, which is not a good thing at all by any means. Uh, the traders are now leaving quite safely. I'm sure they're quite happy coming here. You know, they came here and didn't get anything. There's my one dead dwarf, which I am working on burying. He has my little burial area, which, yeah, must be suspended. So I believe I made some burial... No, I didn't. I didn't make some burial receptacles. And, oh, and everything's undesignated. I guess that's because of, uh, stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead, make coffin and cabinets on repeat. Crafts dwarf, rock crafts and rock pots. And that's my carpentry. I don't have anything to do, except I don't have any wood. Uh, but one thing I did need to do is I need to remove this and then I need to make an extra bio build workshop craft dwarf. And this is going to be used for extracting um, 
extracting adamantite strands. So I'm going to check is my strand extractor still, still alive? Yes, he is. He's alive and well. So I'm going to go ahead and that'll be fine. Oh my god, webbed. Okay, that's okay. This is something, something oh, oh, they're doing this. Uh, that's something that happens when they're basically running into webs and down here. But there is stuff like giant cave spiders which uh, paralyze dwarves and then murder them horribly. So I don't think it's something that could be taken lightly. If you see webbed, it can mean that there's a giant cave spider or it could mean that your dwarves are just stupid and got trapped. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave uh, one ramp on this side open and another ramp on this side just so my dwarves can get up and down. Uh, but other than that, uh, as well as that, I'm going to go ahead and expand upon this. Again, I'm trying to square everything off, just kind of make it look a bit better. I'm going to go all the way down here, remove all this stuff. So that should be everything quite nice then. Uh, a little bit better. So we do have this finished, so I'm going to go ahead and start building stuff in it. I think I do have two farmers, so that's more than enough. Oh, interrupted by Ice Wolf. No! I should have my militia commander somewhere near. Okay, this is uh, this is me starting to be sloppy. Oh god, he's asleep. God damn it! No, don't kill anybody. Okay, just wait until the militia commander stays awake. Get, gets awake. Okay, you just keep on dodging. Okay. Oh, he's actually getting hurt. The wolf's getting pretty messed up. Its guts are hurt. Okay, militia commander, wake up already. God damn. Before everybody dies. Okay, I'm screw this. I'm assigning. Okay. Uh. My miners are my new amazing military, so everybody go up here and stop it, please. Okay, he's only a little bit hurt. He's a bit, the wolf's a bit hurt. Where's the other wolves? I'm sure there's other wolves up here. Oh, I guess maybe they got killed. Ugh. Maybe they just came in and then left. But yeah, this is why you don't... This is why you actually keep a good eye on it. Oh god, don't kill my metalsmith. You asshole, do not kill my metalsmith. Okay, nobody's died yet, that's good. Oh god, he's starting to get hurt. Okay, so let's see what's wrong with him. Okay. So he's feeling a bit ill. Oh, there's a miner. Come on, miner, kill it. Kill it. Yeah, it's dead. Okay, thank god for that. Okay, now time to remove these two. Okay, dear god, I need to make a bed now. Okay. Oh, so that's everything safe again. I need, I so need to start like actually finishing this this is so unfinished and every time i try to go out here wolves come and kill everybody Wait, what about a wolf's right ear the peasant releases the grip of the peasant's left upper arm on the ice wolf second left rear toe the recruit grips the recruit's right hand on the right on the ice wolf's right ear yeah as you can say it's stupidly detailed <laughs> I mean, that's just stupid how it's, you know, it's talking about how the grabbing ears and individual stupid stuff with fingers and blah. It's horrible. So I'm going to go ahead and put on some extra beds here. I'm not sure my dwarves are doing. I think I'd be pretty traumatized if uh, I had ice wolves running around trying to ravage everybody. Eh, they're okay. Not feeling too bad as long as they've got the alcohol, which they do, but we won't have it forever. We may or may not run out. We also got a lot of them, and I'm just saying this to my noble. So I'm not going to do the other one. I'm just gonna go ahead and resize the room, and our noble is Ral. Oh, sign this to Ral again. Where are you, rally boy? There you are. Oh, so I just reset the room again. Hooked up. Ral. There we go. So Ral has his own nice things now. Let's see how he feels about them. Yeah, he thinks they're modest. They're okay. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start smoothing this area as well. This is the Nova's Quartz. So it's pretty important that it's nice and smooth. Let's just check how Ice Wolves are doing around here. Just kind of chill now, running around. That's okay, as long as they don't get in the way of my masons, which they probably will, because they're horrible, horrible things. Uh, but outside that, we're going to continue going... Oh, that hasn't even done. Okay, let's see. Do my workshops still have... Yes. Oh, this one doesn't need any. And what's wrong with this guy? Is he injured? No, he's drowsy. He needs some sleep. Oh, and there's some miasma now. 
uh, from a butcher shop because I have no food stockpile. Why do I have no food stockpile? God damn it. Oh my god, I completely forgot about food stockpile. It's pretty stupid of me. There we go. One thing that I actually didn't cover in the basic tutorial is moods in Forgotten Beasts. Well, I kind of covered Forgotten Beasts, but I didn't cover moods, and moods are a huge thing. Uh, I might make a super special 21st episode to cover moods, uh, because really it's something that I should have covered. Maybe I'll like do a 21st episode where it's tagged on at this, and then I'll talk about what moods are. Uh, something like that. But yeah, I really think I need to put that in the basic tutorial. There's absolutely no reason why I shouldn't. Uh, so I'm going to set that on repeat. Uh, I kind of feel like my forest is a total mess at this point. I've lost a lot of dwarves. I've, you know, there's miasma everywhere. It's not a good feeling when it's like this at all. Oh, there we go. The miasma's gone there. And now there's miasma here. Uh, oh, is my refuse powerful? No, I don't know why, why dwarves aren't removing stuff that's going to cause miasma. I guess they're just being lazy. Silly little dwarves. Okay, that's off. Yeah, I didn't gather quite all of my Adamant type, but I'm gonna go ahead and gather the rest of it. Yeah, it's designated. Oh, and a goat kid is starved to death. It's cool. Yeah, you see, uh, migrants always bring uh, little animals with them, but sadly they don't tend to live very long purely because. Oh, that needs to be in sight. Crap. I don't tend to live very long. In fact, I'm gonna make that a barracks. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm gonna uh, make a, a place where dead people go up here, like this. Oops. There's one room. In fact, I'm gonna leave that as one room. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make a hospital here. There we go. So that's my hospital. This is gonna be a dead people place, dead people and dead animal place. Where they go to rest in peace. And I'm running out of stuff, that's not good. Uh, so check my first cabin. So it looks like this is coming along nicely. We do have some stuff planted, but it has obviously hasn't quite grown yet. So that's too bad. Uh, oh, and that's why he's stuck there. That was close. He's stuck there because there's a bloody tree there which stops him. I don't actually know how he got there. Oh, he must have moved the ramp perhaps. Uh, yeah, I also need to close up. Yeah, first I need to mine that out though. There we go. Build construction floor. Hmm. What'll be the best way to clear this up? Hmm. Quite a hard one. Maybe. Maybe if I. Because obviously stuff can move diagonally. That's what I'm thinking for. Because something can move diagonally there. So if I remove this, and then I can put a wall there, and then I can put a wall back there. That's gonna be fine. Uh, I'm gonna put all walls here, which will be fine. And walls, a wall right here, rather. Uh, I'm gonna remove the designation, remove these two, and then that should be all good. So my cabin is quite nicely terraformed now. I've got Glen as well, which is an ore of silver, maybe? Yeah, ore of silver and lead. So that's cool. So we've also got a farm going, but it's currently nothing's came from it, sadly, because you know nothing's really happening. And let's check, I need to increase my bookkeeper position, actually. Uh, yeah, so everything's good. Everything's fairly okay in my fort. Nobody's dead yet. I'm just gonna put an armor stand in here. And a few beds. Just later on will be my barracks. That was face for that one. This was in my noble's quarters. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, my noble's quarters aren't bound actually. That's something I need to do. Oh god, oh god. Elk bird. Oh. Okay, where's this goddamn elk bird? Oh god. Okay, the elk bird's dead, but oh god, it hurts so many. Okay, it, it hurts left or leg. See, this is why you gotta terraform properly. Like, I'm doing a bad job here. Obviously, this is an evil biome, so it's hard for me, but also, I'm running out of time, dear god. Okay, this horrible part has been horrible if you have any questions about how horrible it was feel free to ask and i'll be more than happy to help thank you for watching